What's up, Water Signs? I'm Lorel, and welcome to Lorel's Moon in this bitch. Join us as I read your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. I'm looking for the weed now. Oh. So if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, rosemoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature, baby. So we're going to figure out what's going on with the daily motherfucking five of us. Pop and baby spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Yes, you must sage for the water gods, baby. Ha. One more time. 27th through the 28th, let's see what's going down. Check out the motherfucking weekend, y'all. I will be doing my specials, the, 20, the $25 for four questions. Y'all know I love y'all. Email me, lorelbanks at gmail.com, all right? So let's see what's going on, baby. Yes, honey, yes. First card off top, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So, some of you all could be ready for that getaway. I'll pub to that. Okay. All right, one more. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor. And your love life right now, water signs. So you don't give a fuck. Your finances is definitely number one top priority. All right? All right. So last one. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this romance going. Okay. One more that's going to tie into that unrequited love. Healing family issues. Okay. Okay. So it could be not enough time that somebody wants to put into some things that they need to focus on their financial issues or somebody needs to heal over their financial uh, problems and their uh, family problems is what I'm seeing here. Okay, somebody could be needing a getaway. Let's see what's going down. We're going to start out with healing family issues and unrequited love. So these two together, baby. Here we go. Three of cup energy here, darlings, in reverse. Also, eight of wands, which is failed. Knight of swords. So, someone could have been coming in and out. You could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Uh, the finances and career has been tied into what's going on at home. All right. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like this person is definitely guarded. Or someone is guarded here. This could be you, water signs. But this person could have been coming in and out. You could have been wanting some sort of communication. With definitely a third-party situation dealing with family and friends that are a major issue right now where this person has to block themselves or leave away. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio up in the mix. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries too. So I feel like someone definitely could be taking care of a child, okay, or someone um, that they're having to go back and forth with, you know, either transportation or, you know, child history, whatever the fuck, all right? Whatever y'all do with y'all families and y'all children, y'all know what the fuck y'all do, okay? Straight like that. I feel like there's definitely some sort of action that's taken. I definitely feel um, that there is someone who's trying to look past their fears, okay, with this justice energy. You could be dealing with a Libra energy or somebody who wants to make an action towards you, but it's just, you know... It could be it could be that it's just a platonic type of relationship. So I do feel for some of you guys, there is uh, someone who's wanting to make the situation justified, but they're definitely having to take a break from it. Some of y'all definitely could be dealing with a uh, somebody who's kind of staggered. Somebody who's stuck in their growth. They want to make an action, but they just stop to think about it all the time. 
and definitely somebody who's dealing with children, okay? Somebody who's, like I said, stunted in their growth or they're just not really able to grow. Definitely could be dealing with an Aquarian energy, but I feel with this judgment is definitely a lot of things going on within their family or just their situation overall where they're in two minds of how they're going to make this action. So I definitely feel like it could be a soulmate connection for some of you guys where this person, you feel like they're bringing in a lot of tricks and shit, okay? It could have been with a third-party situation, but I really feel with the third party that somebody's really trying to get a grasp on their finances, okay? They could be trying to get some charisma in their life. It's king of wands, but they're kind of just sitting there. So I feel like uh, this person's kind of dead weight, or you definitely feel like they're not really ready for any stability, okay? Especially if it's tying into their uh, finances and their career. So let's see about that possible Scorpio here. Also somebody from the past. All right. Could be having some memoirs from the past water signs. <laughs> but I feel like this person is really committed uh, to their finances more so than they are to a relationship. Definitely could be someone who's highly spiritual here with this high priestess. It could be some communication you feel this person's not really answering to or someone is blocking themselves off. But I feel like their financial career and their growth is definitely... Um, what is a factor here now like i said the other day somebody could have been having some some issues within the work uh situation and i feel like they're definitely drawing in some boredom or somebody feels like they're bored within their work job but they're getting you're getting ready to see some new value shift okay even though you're kind of in two minds about it five of wands two of wands here so i feel like there's something that's blocking you or some people that are blocking you in your finances or in your career uh, that you're getting ready to get rid of and you're about to see your value shift and what it is you do bring to the table, um, especially in your finances and your career. So for some of you guys, um, could be a lot of competition, a lot of struggles going on in your finances that this other person is bringing on to you, okay? But I feel like there's definitely a situation that's to be had here. There is somebody who's not really impressed with the situation or impressed with how things are going because you have the Empress energy coming in reverse, and also the Seven of Cups, I feel like someone's made a final decision based off of what they're not impressed with, okay? So let's see what this retreat is all about. And I feel some of y'all need a break, a getaway. Ten of Cups, oh shit. Six of Pentacle Energy here. So some of y'all could be planning a trip. You could be planning out uh, how your money's going out, how it's coming in, Okay. Uh, resolutions here is definitely what I'm seeing with this retreat coming into a, some sort of resolution five of swords coming in reverse okay someone who's not having any regrets towards things in the past but there's definitely some deceptive energy that you could have been dealing with that causes you to see this person's immaturity okay uh, also to let go of boundaries here and to plan I feel like a lot of you guys are starting to see your boundaries within your hermit energy that you're wanting to pursue. Uh, it definitely could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio up in your mix. All right. I feel like somebody is, they want to bring in love, but they're definitely detached or they're not really talking about much here. They want their independence with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Okay. And I'm also seeing uh, with this Nine of Pentacles that there's someone who's wanting things to come into fruition with their own peace of mind, even though there might be a little bit of struggles in their own bounds. But I feel like there's definitely someone who's spying on you. Um, it could be that uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio here, but some it's a page. So someone definitely could be younger or someone could be shorter. Okay. Uh, but two pages here, page of wands, queen of cups. Um, I feel like someone has a message, but they're not really trying to give out the message. They're just trying to take a sneak peek first before they, you know, have any interruptions or any intrusions um, before they make a move, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. It could be somebody who's really, like, put a damper on your vibe, all right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. But it could be that somebody is just kind of frustrated between their finances and their career and, you know, not having enough time for love. So let's see about possible outcomes, darlings. Here we go. Water sign. All right, so there's going to be someone who wants to communicate with you, but I'm also seeing here that there's definitely somebody who could have blocked, um, you know, just their, they're trying to block their energy off. So this could be you, water signs, 
but I'm definitely seeing here a lot of you guys will be dealing with someone who's concentrating on their work, their work environment, okay? Could be dealing with communications, or someone could be dealing out with uh, communications for some of you guys, but with this page of swords energy here, I feel like with the justice energy, there's going to be some, some sort of message that you feel you're just kind of tired of hearing, okay? You're just tapped out. You feel like you were carrying all the weight and you dropped that shit is what I'm seeing here. Also with the page of cups, I feel a lot of you guys, um, there's going to be someone who's making an action towards you, a message of some sort, Knight of cups, page of cups as well. Um, I really feel like with this overall five, it could be a lot of watery energy or this person definitely has a lot of water in their chart, could be triple in their birth chart, shit like that, whatever. Uh, this person is spying on you. They're wanting to make a, a new notion with you, okay? But with this tower energy, it's kind of like they're wanting to push forward and start something new. Tell me what this tower energy here is for. Okay, so there's definitely somebody whose happiness, you know, they're putting their happiness aside uh, with this tower energy. It could be someone from the past. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Uh, Cancer definitely here with this chariot energy. And also Taurus as well. Um, so I'm seeing these two kind of come together. But there's also like some sort of child or children that's getting in the way. Or there's someone who's pushing their happiness in the aside. And they're having to uh, fight for, you know, two different energies. Sex energy here with the devil. Also two of wands and with the will of fortune closing this cycle out so i feel um some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who wants who has some sex demons honey but uh i definitely feel it could be somebody who's kind of dark with this death energy and also the devil um some of you guys definitely could be dealing with someone who wanted that reconciliation but they're definitely just wanting some sort of sexual energy here i'm also feeling like the tables are getting ready to turn with the uh with the will of fortune and also with the temperance energy so some of you guys definitely could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So be aware of that and that person and their dark entities and things of that nature, okay? Because there's definitely some dark shit going on. Somebody who keeps staying up at night, okay? Someone's wanting them to come through, but, you know, they really just don't have time for that. They're just a go-getter with this King of Wands, somebody who's really wanting some new creative activities, all right? So this person might be just on that player-like type of shit. Uh, but I feel with this Ace of Wands and Empress energy, this person wants a new beginning, but they also just could be wanting sex, okay? Somebody could be pregnant here as well, water signs. Um, but I'm definitely seeing with this lover's energy, you could be dealing with Gemini. Um, there is somebody who's going to want to break free from their independent into their independence, get a peace of mind. Water signs, there is someone here that is definitely wanting to offer you something, but they're not trying to come together. Uh, they definitely have a lot of things going on, like this card said, family issues, all right? But I'm feeling like somebody has some offers, they have some money, but they're taking care of that family business, baby town business. Also, with the three of cups, there's definitely someone who wants to have a celebration, or there's somebody who's hanging out that's made a final decision. It's definitely going to be someone who wants to love offer coming your direction. Ace of cups, okay? Queen of wands, at the bottom of the deck, darlings. I love you guys. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. See you in the next video.